Greetings everyone and welcome back to the town of Karma in Rimworld. There's a bit of a dry thunderstorm going on outside at the moment. We've got lightning all over the place, but as you may notice, I've made some changes to my plans. And these changes are going to require changes to other plans and so on and so forth. Ah, uh, there's going to be a little bit of time before we can get everything set up. But as you can see, I'm going to be moving... I've gr drastically expanded my uh, initial upgrade plans from 2 to 4. So that will bring us up to a total of 7 grow zones. Now, the reason for this expansion is... Simply put, I made a massive mistake... Um, I'm not sure where I got the impression that trees could not be grown indoors. Perhaps it used to be that way in an older version, and I just never rechecked. Uh, I've, I've talked about this whole thing of, of not rechecking the situations. It is, it is something that is, plagues me and many other people, and I need to get out of the habit of doing that. Just because it used to be one way doesn't mean it's always going to be that way. But either way... Trees can grow indoors in the greenhouse setup we've got here. They can't just grow outside because toxic fallout kills all things, trees included. But we should be able to grow them indoors, so I'm going to be changing one of these spots to growing uh, trees. But that is going to ne necessitate an increase in power. Right now, at maximum um, output, our solar cells are giving us only 1,376. Each one of these requires 1,600. Now, thankfully, the way that we've got the day-night switches means that, more or less, under normal load, where these would, I think, about 1,700 be able to output, then each of these would be run by one solar panel, and that would be enough. But once we've built all of this... We're not going to have enough solar panels to run what we want. So I want to expand this out by one extra layer. So that's the first thing that we're going to be doing today. We're going to be pushing all of this back an extra layer. Now, a couple of people are unhappy. I've also received advice that, unfortunately, things don't work as they used to in that uh, a psychopath who butchers someone doesn't isn't the only person who gets affected now. The whole colony will be affected by the fact that someone was butchered for meat. Nah, that is not great. I would really have liked to be able to uh, butcher these people, but it doesn't look like that's going to be happening anytime soon. Now, let me just uh, double check how everyone's doing in terms of health. Initial, minor, the nickels, but I think the nickels is currently told to stay indoors, so that should be fine. Now, there are also some updates to the mods that I'm using. Uh, a dog said and fashion rimster. Now, I believe that because I'm running this through Steam and the mods have been updated in the Steam Workshop, that this is auto-updated. If not, then I'll, I'll look into that. But a few new things have been added that I'm very, very happy with. Uh, really? We have only got 60 foods? That's not possible. Okay, they're, they're just in their own own little category. Fair enough. All right. Well, let's speed up time. To nickels, are you actually restricted? To nickels, you are not indoors, please. And gun, you are no longer restricted. There we go. Right. We do need everything to be brought in fairly soon, though, guys. Chop chop, please. We need to get everything indoors. It has already been po pointed out to me that Fern is not actually Buttercup's older sister. Fern is Buttercup's younger sister if we go by chronological age. Fern was born 132 years ago, whereas Buttercup, 134. Though Buttercup is biologically the younger of the two at this point, she was born first. So, uh, yeah... Ah, uh, Crypto Sleep Caskets. They make everything a little more complicated, don't they? Right, you know what, though? I would super prefer you not to be cleaning out there. Is there anywhere that I can restrict that? Uh, it doesn't look like I can. Well, that's just annoying. I must be honest. Okay. Well, let's wait for people to continue hauling and doing other such things. There we are. Gun is out there helping. Thank you very much, Gun. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pushing all of this back enough that we're going to be able to create... Ooh... Roof collapse. Oh, that's fine. Um, I think I actually set this up as having roofs. My bad. Let me uh, de-roof. No roof. Out to at least here. Probably. There we go. I'm afraid you're going to have to go back and sort that out for me, please. Thanks. Ugh. My bad. I am a derp. Right. I would like to forbid these so that they aren't built for the time being. There we go. Um, no hauling going on? 
Mm, I've got to be honest, that's a little bit troublesome. Marriage is on. Carly has accepted Gunn's marriage proposal. At some point in the coming days or seasons, they will have their marriage ceremony and invite all the colonists. Oh, that's fantastic. Marriages are wonderful for colony morale. Let's go ahead and get a marriage spot. Just that, you know, they'll get married in here. I know it's not the best place. Oh, I really do know. But I need you to do it anyway. Right. You get up and uh, start doing a bit of work now, please. Thank you. There we are again. A uh, lot of stuff done all over the place. That is good. There we go. More and more of these walls done as well. Minor break risk. Yeah, it's going to happen, unfortunately. Um, all of the power in there. Metal break. Hiding room. De Nichols is hiding in his room. The final straw was feeling terrible. Oh, poor De Nichols. I'm sorry, mate. Don't you worry. Now, one of the nice things the Fashion Rimster has added is gas masks. Now, that I'm seriously happy about. Once I can build them, anyway. Um, can I actually build them yet? Let's have a quick look. Can I build gas masks? Gas masks. Gardening vest. Gas masks. Um, I guess not. A hat, chef, scrub, surgical mask. Construction jacket. Doesn't look like we've got the ability to do that, unfortunately. No. Oh well. I wonder where we get gas masks from then. Maybe it's just something we need to buy. Because we can make a surgical mask, we can make scrubs, a chef's hat, chef's jacket, construction jacket, fur hat, overalls, cargo shorts, thermal pants, gardening vest. And as you might imagine, gardening vest makes uh, people do gardening stuff better. Uh, in fact, let's actually check out some of these. So, construction jacket, let's have a look at your details. What do you do? Um, insulation cold, covers, blah, blah, blah. Flammability, de deterioration rate. Uh, brightly colored and perfect visibility. The construction jacket is a must-have addition for every growing colony. Let your colonists stand out not by style, but also by the speed they mine and build. But I can't see any particular um, stats here that explain that. Which is a bit of a shame. I would have liked that, actually. What about the garden vest? Let's have a look at that one. The garden vest. Shriveled corn, tiny potatoes put on the gardening vest and show your prowess on the plowing field like a pro. Plant your seeds and pluck those flowers. Make the black thumb green again. Um, okay, well... It still doesn't give me any particular details on how or what it affects exactly, but uh, that's fine. Like, can we please get these done? Oh, thank you very much. Let's get someone buried. No, 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 no. Dunk, dunk. No. Strip. Then strip. Now bury. There we go. Because they are slowly rotting. And by slowly, I mean not slowly at all, actually. Which is quite distressing. Right, well, uh, have we removed the roof? Um, no, that is a no roofs area. Is this said to be roof? No, it doesn't say it. Okay, well, we're still waiting on the steel that we're going to need for that, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to hang tight on those ones. Could you bring in the medicine for me? We desperately need it. Now, another one of the things that we're doing over here. Actually, in fact, are they, all of these being harvested? Yes. Okay, so we're going to be cycling this one to heal root. There we go. Now, has anyone got the means of growing that? Yes, yes, we've got a couple of people who can, actually. Good, 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 good. Let's get all of that harvested and heal root made. That is what we need right now. Okay, people are generally just taking care of people. I'm glad for this. There we go. We'll eventually start seeing loads of things planted in there, hopefully. And a little bit of... Well, not much is actually being done around the place. I'm a little bit concerned. You know what? Let's uh, bump up hauling to the, a higher priority for everyone. Let's get everything done a little bit faster, shall we? There we go. Ugh, that's not a good place for it. At all. Like, genuinely really bad. Uh, it's outside the allowed area. Are you healthy enough to go out yet? 
Initial, yes, you can then. Okay, you're unrestricted. Go ahead. The nickels super badly need you to start digging this. There we go. And then bury them for me, please. There we go. And I'll let someone else take care of that after that. Alright, okay. People are hopping out, grabbing their things. Our batteries are charging. I'm glad for this. There we go. Everyone is woken up. People are moving stuff around. Fantastic. Our food situation is actually pretty manageable right now. Pretty manageable indeed. And we're bringing in all of the, the loot. Great. Okay. So, once all of that has been brought in, we've got a few other things dotted around. Then... We should be ready to continue. I think that's everything hauled that needed to be hauled. Yes, okay. Right, you can have all of that brought back down to the lower priority there. And I'm just going to quickly check on everyone's health. Minor, right. So, gun, you're going to be restricted. So is Carly. And... Anyone else? No. So, gun and Carly, both restricted to indoors. There you go. Actually, let me just check on your sleep cycles. Yeah, they're more or less the same. Carly is... Now, the reason why I haven't got Gun and Carly on exactly the same sleep cycle is because I'll have Gun go to bed at the same time. You know what? That, that'll help. But I like to not force a sleep uh, period because right now, Carly, if, for example, because her bed has some uh, rest modifying items nearby she might stop being tired around here but she will be forced to stay in bed and sleep all the way up until six o'clock now that makes sense with carly because if she gets up before then she'll be in a bad mood with gun though i'm enforcing get three hours of sleep no matter how awake you feel sleep at least three hours but after that if you wake up for some reason you don't have to go back to bed you're free to decide what you want to do with your time and that's the way i often work with sleep i enforce like one or two hours of sleep to start with and then i have a period of anything afterwards so they can stay in bed if they want to or they can get up and do other work if they want to either one is fine now, unfortunately carly is slowly going to go mad being in there the nickels, I really need these done. I'm so sorry. Let's get these uh, dug so that we can get the bodies buried. There we go. And that one. There we go. Would you kindly bury the dead? Uh, well, you won't, apparently. But major break risk on Lisa. What's wrong, Lisa? In a moderate amount of pain, observed loads of corpses. Yeah, okay. Um, go and bury them. As a matter of priority. Do Nichols do the same, please? There we are. And the last one is off. Okay, so people should stop feeling so terrible about seeing all those corpses. Hopefully. Hopefully. Right, we've got... Is there no one capable of planting this right now? I was fairly certain there were. Buttercup is capable of it. Uh, average skill is 14. Can I get Buttercup to go here? Uh, Buttercup is sleeping. Uh, I would really prefer it if you would... Pl oh, okay, you'll just do one. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, down here, though, we need to increase our power income. So, let's have a look at you. We want this about there, I would say. Well, no, it can fit there. That should be fine. And then we just want power along the side. But then, ultimately... I want to have a wall going all the way along here. And we will have... Actually, yeah, we'll have just steel doors. One there, and one there, perhaps. There we go. That'll give me plenty. There we go. Two colonists are idle. Currently, Gun and Carly. Well, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at you. Is there really nothing for you to do? Nothing at all. Wow. I'm actually a little bit impressed. I'm a little bit impressed. Okay. Well, let's get a load of uh, limestone chunks brought in. A load of slate chunks brought in. Let's not quite get that many. There we are. Let's get all of those hauled, please. So that the people who aren't allowed outside can at least take care of those. 
And we'll get the steel doors back there. Uh, in the meanwhile, have we got many? Yeah, we've got plenty of bricks. Uh, actually, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll add these walls to the indoors areas just so that we can get them built. So all the way up, all the way across, and there. And I, I mean, no, I'm going to leave those absolutely in the outdoors areas. Ultimately, I'll remove these ones as well, but I just want Carly and Gun getting those built for me. How are they doing health-wise? <sighs> See, no. That is, that is just me being massively impatient and potentially sacrificing their health because of that impatience. So I'm going to leave that restricted. We'll just wait for more blocks and stone to be brought in. Right, as for the sculptor's table, which requires art, is Carly capable of art? Uh, Carly... Yeah, you're actually a smith. Uh, uh, you're not capable of art, but you are a tailor as well. Have you got much in the way of clothing? No. No, of course we, we do not. Never mind then. We have got some grenades, which would be very nice. How are you doing over there? Let's check on our prisoner. Um, she's fairly okay. Um, listen to recruitment pitch from Becca. Uh, rejected the offer, mind you, but she's got a 99 difficulty. Same down here. Now, can you actually walk? Yeah, you can walk if you want to. Let's have a look at your needs. Night owl and daytime, hungry, imprisoned, cramped environment, shared bedroom, ugly environment, rebuffed by Becca, slept in the cold. <laughs> rebuffed by Becca? Um, okay, that's a bit of an interesting one. Uh, we've got plenty of steel over there, so we should be able to continue the construction just as soon as we've got our constructors working a little bit more. It's a shame that they, both Gun and Carly, are our main builders, and neither one of them is allowed out right now, which is actually hurting us quite a lot. Miner. Uh, De Nichols is also onto Miner now. That's very unfortunate. Broken Wind Turbine. Well, for the time being, I'm afraid I'm going to have to restrict it to nickels as well. And that does hurt. Right, Carly... Uh, sorry, Lisa, you're a cook, but following that, you do do construction and repair. You also do a bit of mining as well, so... There we are. What are you going to work on now? Are you making more meals, are you? Uh, I guess I did tell you to make up to 20. So that's fine, but they really shouldn't be stored out there. That's really bad, actually. Hmm. I wish we could get rid of some of the, the meat, honestly, from the inventory there. Oh, well. Uh, this is going to chill out. The meals will be consumed fairly quickly. I imagine this is going to be straight back out there working again to make more meals, which is a pain. Ideally, I'd like it if more of these items are taken out of this. Oh, what just happened there? Right. Okay. The Nichols and Armas just decided to have a fight. Insulted. Let's have a look. What happened? Was insulted by Armas. This drove the Nichols into a rage and he began a fist fight. Okay, well, they at least <laughs> made up fairly quickly. And now we've got a siege on top of everything. Wow, poop. Okay, let's have a look at your gear. What have you got? You've got a machine pistol, wooden club. Survive rifle, pump shotgun, sniper rifle, pistol, and pump shotgun. Now, there's going to be a lot of materials out there if we're lucky. All right. Well, everyone selected a butt buttercup, as per usual. You're now all drafted. Move in. Now, I don't like waiting for the sieges. You could, and especially in this kind of environment, you could really um, just wait them out. It would not be particularly difficult to kill them all off that way. But I don't really like that. Um, Fern, have we got something better for you? You're just no good at shooting, so there's no real reason for you to. So go ahead, wear that then. There we are. And let's prepare everyone else to go out. So, what are you going to set up then? Let's move out there. Now, we want to get this sorted out pretty fast if we can. Okay, over here you go. Up. 
Try and move along the perimeter if you can. There we go. This is a good position, I feel. Right. Uh, okay, if you move up, we will send Carly with. Now, gun. Major break risk. Re Lisa. Uh, that is very unfortunate. Um, you guys can go with. Right, start moving out. There we go. Some good shots there. Incoming sniper fire, though. Not very good for us. Right. Hold tight. There you go. Up there. You up there as well. Fern, move along. Lisa. Ooh. Were you actually hit the nickels? No, I don't think you were. Uh, unfortunately. They've got the range advantage here. Okay, move up. Swiftly. Go, go, go. Fern, you don't want to get too close. In fact, you don't really want to be close at all, to be perfectly honest. Right, how much damage are we managing to do? Um, not a huge amount. Let's move in. Do your best. Right, both of you want you to fire at coffee. <laughs> Definitely fire at coffee. You too. Let's get both of you. What have you got? Gear. Machine pistol. It's not a huge concern for me. Yeah, I finished K off. Uh, I could have you charge in in a moment. Well done. Keep it up. Nice shot. You're doing a feral chunk of damage there. Right, Fern could move in at this point. Um, would like you three definitely to attack him. Fern, go for it. Becca, move forward. You're doing an okay job on K. Keep going, Fern. That's right. Now, want you to be over here, please. Becca, right up to the corner. Let's get Lisa over there behind cover. Come on. There we go. We're doing a good job here, I feel. Now, I would like both of you focus fire on the machine pistol user. And I would like Fern, just charge in as fast as you possibly can. We need to kill Bill. <laughs> oh, that felt so good to say. <laughs> Legitimately, to be able to say that was glorious. Get in there. Oh no, you hit Fern, Lisa. Why? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, stabbed in the stomach with a peeler. Ah, oh, no. Why have you done this? Oh, they have broken. Okay, they're fleeing. Have you lost anything? No, you're, you're not. You've not actually lost a thing yet. But... I want you working on them. Get over there, please. Back and move up. Move forward swiftly so that you can start taking shots where you can. That's right. Go ahead, get in melee. Shoot Bill. Definitely shoot Bill. There we go. Take out Priscilla. Armour? Sure. Get into melee. Okay. You, sir. Armour. Back get up there and help out. Right. Gun. Need your undrafted rescue fern. The nickels. Move up. Just try and take them out as you can. Right. Get up there. Both of you. You can move off to the side. Nope. Melee attack. Melee attack. Just go, go, go. That's all we need right now. Well done. Okay, everyone is 
undrafted. Unfortunately, we do not have any room for you. So, now the problem here is that I could field execute. But I strongly suspect that my colonists would be very unhappy. Optimist, very neurotic. You're actually really good. Trigger happy. Barker. Pessimist, lazy, very neurotic. We don't want you at all. Well. Hmm, fast walker, slothful, night owl, incapable of none. You're incapable of so many things. But you're my only psychopath. Uh, it is an awkward one. I'm going to add in... Furniture, sleeping spot. And I'm afraid Bill is just going to have to sleep on the floor. The other one is going to die. Becca, well, I'll let you do your thing. Right, Carly, capture Bill. Um, let's have a look at you. Psychically dull, hard worker, ascetic. Damn, you're good. <sighs> They're all really, really good characters that I would very much like to grab. Well, that's, therein is the problem. I could stuff them in there as tight as I could. But the odds of them then trying to escape increases. Because they'll be dissatisfied. But go ahead, capture them. And there we are. Right. The Nichols, I'm afraid... This is going to make everyone unhappy, but it, well, they're going to be unhappy anyway because an innocent died, but just finish them off swiftly. Don't just leave them there to, to die. Right, now if we have a look at needs, uh, there should be witness outside his death. Oh, oh no. Doesn't look like there are anyone who is unhappy with that. Okay, fair enough. Well... Everyone, you're undrafted. Head on back. We will unforbid everything. Strip everyone. And then we're good. There we are. Wonderful work, everyone. That was a very good job. But, yeah, that's not so good. A message carrier named Timur, loser, <laughs> loser, calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the dead group. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he's only 31 years old. Be warned if you accept. You'll have to fight them off. Ah, oh, he's Buttercup's father? <laughs> How can I say no? <laughs> I haven't got enough time for all of these people. All right, we're offering him safety. How can I say no? Wow, you landed in a drop pod? That was an interesting one, loser. Okay, well, uh... Drat, frankly. Drat, but also good. But that, on that note, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. I like the hair, though, loser. That's very interesting. But uh, we've got a lot of injured colonists who need a lot of treatment. And we've now got someone else who needs a bed, which... Uh, at the very least, I can give you a sleeping spot. <laughs> but that's all I can do. You're just going to have to sleep on the floor until I make you a room. But that is it from me. We've not actually progressed the colony much in terms of actually forward motion in buildings, but we fought off a siege, we've got a new character, and we've also got two new captives, which uh, might not go our way, honestly, but we'll have to see. I hope you've enjoyed, though, and will be joining me for the next. But until then, take care, everyone.